Here are the top seven features in Microsoft Word. The first new feature is dark mode support in Word for the web. So I have my next generation TPS report open here. I'll go to the view menu and over on the right hand side, you'll see dark mode and I'll click this. Now everything is in dark mode, looks pretty slick, the whole document. Now if I go to switch background, that'll keep it as a white document background. So some people like to still see that bright white background. You can toggle this background back and forth really easy. I'll click that button again to put it in the original dark mode. And to turn off dark mode, click on the button again, and you're back. The second new feature is an easy way to switch from editing or viewing or reviewing in a Word doc. So if I go to the upper right here, you're going to see this drop down that says editing. If I click this, I'm right now in editing mode so I can edit this document and make changes. Let's say I just want to go into reviewing mode. What this is going to do is now I'm in reviewer mode and so I'm not going to be editing, but I can go and review things, you know, highlight and go here and add comments, things like that. There's also viewing mode. So if I go to view mode, I'm just going to view the file, but it's read only. So now if you look at everything on here, on the toolbar, everything's disabled. For example, if I was opening this document and I only had read only permissions, this would automatically be set to viewing and I wouldn't be able to change it. Since I own this document, I can change any of these, but for viewing mode, everything will be disabled. So if I want to go back to editing, I can just go here and everything's back again. The third new feature is improvements to how you can look at markup when track changes is on for a document and word for the web. Now, if I scroll down, I've got some markup here. I'll go to the review tab and you'll see that track changes is on for this document. So all these different crossing outs and updates, sometimes it can be a little tricky to tell what's going on and you want to make all that markup go away. Well, in word for the web now, you can go to markup view and by default, it's showing all markup. I'm going to choose the new option, simple markup. And now all those track changes updates go away. They're just hidden. You'll see though a little red bar on the left here. And if I hover, it says show track changes. So this is a toggle. And if I click it, it'll show those track changes. And when they're showing the bar turns gray and hide track changes, I click it again and it goes back. So this is the markup view for simple markup. If I go to the button here and go back to the default, you'll see all markup. And now it's here all the time. The fourth new feature is the ability to like comments in Word for the Web. So I've got my TPS report document here on the next generation TPS report. And right here, there's a comment. Bill Lumberg is a huge fan. It looks like Mike Tholfson left that comment. And now there's a little thumbs up button. And I'm going to like it because that's a really incredible comment. I might scroll down here. Oh, here's another comment about the world famous TPS report cover sheets. Again, I'm going to choose to like this and you can see exactly who has liked the different comments. And if you want to unlike it, I can go click and unlike it. The fifth new feature is equations in Word for the web. I'm going to click on the insert menu here and I'm going to go over and choose equation. This is a new button. This opens up our equation tools pane on the right hand side. So I can go and browse through all the different math symbols and I can insert these. We also have structures. So common subscripts, superscripts, we're going to choose here and I'm going to choose the good old quadratic formula. And right here, you'll see it. I will choose insert on page. That inserts the quadratic formula. You can experiment with inserting all sorts of math structures and symbols on the page and your most recently used symbols will show up right here. So if you want to use them again easily, you can do that too. The sixth new feature is improvements to the dictate toolbar. I'm on the home tab here in word for the web and I'll go over and click on dictate. Here is the new dictate toolbar period. Now I've dragged it to the middle of the page period. And I'll click that to stop it. We have supported voice commands and dictate. Those have already existed. The seventh new feature is new languages supported in dictate for word. So I'm going to click this. And if you drop down spoken language, you're going to see a bunch of new preview languages here. So many, many new ones. I believe there are over 40 different languages that we've enabled in addition to the original ones that we had right here. These languages are available in Word for the Web, Word Desktop, Word Mac, and iOS. If you want to keep up with all the latest Microsoft updates and tips and tricks, subscribe to my channel and then just ring the bell so you get all the latest videos that I post.